everybody and welcome to the next part I can't remember the part number so yeah just the next part of my how to build an advanced 8-bit computer inside of Minecraft now this is going to be a little update video slash um, what shall we call it bug fix video that's the word um, where I just address some of the issues which have been pointed out to me and which I have found um, so yeah while I uh, while I look for the ones um, which I can't actually remember where they are. Uh, while I look for them, <laughs> I um, I will briefly explain where I have been in the past three weeks. So um, three weeks ago, I started revising. I revised solidly for a week. Um, I did revision prior to that, and then um, I also and then the next week after that, I had exams. So. That wiped out two weeks where I couldn't do any videos because um, in my school we have a solid week of exams in year 10 um, which means which leaves me with like no time whatsoever for um, for videos so that's two weeks gone and then I had a Duke of Edinburgh um, expedition uh, if you don't know what Duke of, Duke of Edinburgh is is uh, no big deal really it's just an award which you get for um, you got to do some volunteering you got to do a sport you got to do a hobby and you've got to go on expeditions, which um, and then there are three stages: bronze, silver, and gold. And it gets progressively more difficult. Now I can't see why this is on at the moment, and it's uh, rather confusing. Um, so yeah, as I look for this, let's, uh, let's see. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I did last weekend, and then all right, that's been budded for some reason. Uh, so I had that, and then I went to Wales. <laughs> Not very exciting. I went to Wales on a holiday. Um, which was very nice actually, I'm not going to lie, I had a, had a really nice time, really nice weather and all that jazz. So yeah, that's what I've been doing the past three weeks, hence no video, so yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so I have now remembered what the uh, what the issues were. Um, so yeah, first of all, the issues are with um, these pistons here, these pistons which block off this signal here. Now before, I can't remember the exact setup, but I had something like this because I remember in the old, um, in the old versions when I designed this uh, this system uh, I used to put a fence gate there and that would automatically update the bud so basically I could just power it from there automatically but I can't do that with 1.5.1 um, and 1.5.2 and 1.5 um, because of the um, gates don't update buds so you need to make sure that all of these actually attach to the pistons because I think I had it where it didn't and make sure they don't interfere now I designed it like this I'm going to just do a brief look uh, like look around so hopefully you can uh, pause it and see which I did so yeah um, hopefully you'll be able to copy that if uh, I think I might have done it wrong I'm not too sure to be honest but if I did do it differently to this just try and uh, try and see what's going on as you can see this uh, this goes into that block there right then um, hopefully there aren't any bud issues I can't see why there would be but that did bud a minute ago didn't it I know okay so um, something which you could do to stop a bud which I'm going to show you is to um, place that like that so that's not going to bud it and then make sure it's feeding into a block and that will uh, Oh, power that piston. Let's just set it to day. All right. Okay. So let's uh, let's do that for all of them. Place that like that. Now, buds are a big problem with this ALU. I uh, they are quite a lot. I'm not gonna lie. It's not good. But you know, hopefully we can fix them one by one. So yeah, that's sorted. That was the first issue. So those pistons now should work perfectly. So we um, we have an alternating pattern. And that's what I was trying to say earlier. Um, where so we just come straight through, and then this one just goes on top of the uh, the piston like that, and then the next one comes down from here. It comes like down three, goes underneath, and then half slabs power the block, which powers the piston, and then that alternates. So yeah, that's that sorted. Now for the next one, which involves uh, the decoder. So uh, all my signs got wiped off, which was a pain. I can't remember what I did. I must have done a world edit, which screwed with it. I um, I've read on the signs, but if they're any different to what I had done before, please uh, please let me know. So yeah, let, let's just go through the things for each one because I remember I placed some of these torches. One, well. right? So for R, 
you need to do bypass adders and set carry zero um, which I think I might have had as cut carry before um, for NAR you do uh, bypass the adders set carry one and set carry zero that's kind of counterintuitive basically you cut the carry and then you turn all of the cutted carry on so you cut the carry and you're inverting the output so that's NAR and is something which I had differently to um, to what I had in the video so then I think we're going to have to change this I felt like let's, let, let's test it let's uh, do a run through right so okay let's say we want to do and and is coming through and let's and two numbers together hopefully it shouldn't be an output if there's an output we've done something wrong but there's a full output why is this happening um yeah that, that's, that's not good <laughs> not gonna lie uh that sh that should have turned all of these off and oh right that's why okay so i think that's the first problem which the first bug we might need to okay so let's bypass the adders and let's set the carry to zero ah, okay so now nothing should be coming through perfect so I think that's what was wrong with it before I just had it with invert A invert B and invert out and what I actually need to do is also to uh, bypass the adders and cut the carry so let's uh, let's have a look if we and right one two three the fourth one nothing should come through to begin with perfect and then we take the fourth one on the top one two three four flick it on we should get the fourth one outputting perfect okay so that is what we need to do for and basically you need to set the first five of the functions on the only ones which you don't need on is the c in and you don't need the right shift now I remember um, how I found this was that should then that's glitched massively <laughs> oh is it block dropped? I bet it's block dropped oh it's, it's so annoying why is uh, this one on but the rest aren't nope that's still on that's still on, that's still on, that's still on oh wait no that is right because we've got two things uh, two um, one two four two eights coming through and it adds by default doesn't it so I'm just mean 16 comes through one two four eight sixteen so yeah that's working perfectly no block drops no bugs phew okay so I think they were all the bugs with ALUs uh, what was I saying oh yeah how I found this was because I have um, I designed an even better ALU not as many bugs faster smaller um, on the Minecraft R server which is really good you should check it out uh, mc.minecraft.org uh, no, mc .org, um, I think is the IP so yeah that's how I found that one um, I think that's it to be honest and then um, sorry about that I got um, abruptly interrupted um, where was I? okay so we've done we've done R, we've done R, we've done AND NAND is going to be the same but without the invert out uh, so we also need to put that one on ah uh, one tick pulse is not good let's just get rid of that so it doesn't travel through don't want this one on because that's the invert out and we want that on oops which also in a one tick pulse ah well hopefully that's not screwed with anything in the LU right so we've got R, NAR and NAND XR I know is right, all you've got to do for XR is cut the carry X no, I also know is right because you just uh, invert the output as well A plus B is default A minus B so we add which is default so nothing and then we put the carry in on and then we negate the B input now I'm not sh uh, negating, we don't negate, we um, invert the B input and I'm not sure which way around I had A and B here so I put A first and B second uh, it seemed logical. I'm pretty sure that's what I did in the first place. And then B minus A is the same except you invert the A input. Now I can't remember what we had on this one. We might have just had 
a spare. Oh no, I know what we had. We had right shift, didn't we? So that's just uh, just going to be that. Fixed, fixed, fixed. So what's that? We we'll call it right shifting is multiplying by two. So let's just call it times two. Voila. So that's uh, that's that done. That's all the bugs I can remember except the bugs with the RAM. I'm going to create a new RAM design and then I will show you how to uh, swap it around. I'm just going to hopefully use this one and then just get rid of the bugs um, and then upload the schematic so you can just use that instead. Oh, that's another thing I need to do. I need to upload the schematic for the RAM. Wow, I'm so far behind with stuff. Um, I keep on forgetting what I need to do. Alright, so that's that for the bugs. I can't remember if I've uploaded the video showing the A register. I hope I have done. If I haven't, that's going to look a bit weird because you haven't seen me build this bit yet. But, ah oh well. All's well that ends well, I guess. So the ALU now should be fixed. No block drops, no buds. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm not sure. I uh, had a quick look through my comments. I had like 30 comments to read since I've been away. It's getting kind of ridiculous. I can't remember if it was with this ALU or the ALU from my previous computer, but I think it was something to do with these interfering with this input. Now I don't think they are here, so it must be to do with the other one. Um, I must let you know that guys that I don't really do anything with the computer anymore. Uh, I know I've still got the tutorials up, but there's probably loads of bugs. I never really bug checked it like I've done with this one. So yeah, if you're expecting those bug fixes and videos for it. I'm probably not going to make them, I've got better things to do, but I might end up making one really big, really long video where I go through and fix everything to the computer. So yeah, look out for that, watch out for more videos for this, and thanks for watching. Sorry it's been a bit hazy again, and many interruptions throughout the video, but yeah, thanks for watching, please stick around for more.